it's here, it's here, it's here, yay! So I ordered this last week. Uh, the order went through uh, Friday afternoon, I think it was, and it went out on Tuesday. Today is Thursday afternoon. The components are all here. Let's uh, crack them open and see what we got. I did take the labels off already because, you know, didn't want to dox myself. Okay, I'm guessing this is the Poda uh, Soda Mast. Hardware box <laughs> with a smiley and a triangle. And all the components for expedition checklist. So this is definitely the Poda Soda portion of the kit. Okay. And the last thing in there is a spool of DX10. Very nice. Let's uh, pop open this mast. Remember kids, cut towards your chum, not your thumb. There we go. Hot dog, look at that. It even comes with a bag to transport it in. DX 9.7 meters. <clears throat> and look at that. Don't use near power lines. <laughs> there we go. A little bit of stiction on there, but it's to be expected. It's been, it's a new product and it's been cooped up for a bit. So here are all the, you know, obviously you can see all the interlaced segments are in there. Let me pull that out a bit so you can, and it'll extend to 9.7 meters or so. I think's what the bag says anyhow. So, Very cool stuff. Let's continue. Okay, so that's the Poda Soda mast. That has to be the Nebula mast. Nebula. Okay. Ha. So here is the SO239 for, I presume, the Nebula, because I'm going to guess that the one for the Expedition is in here. Yep, there it is. And then all the plates are in there. I'll do an inventory of this later, just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Don't expect to be, but it would really suck to be middle, in the middle of a building. Oh, I'm missing X. Anyhow, so... Here is uh, the hose clamps and the tubing. This is all the stay-up kit, all the bungee cord. Uh, guy wire, or guy, guy rope, I should say. Okay, and then we have four spools of DX10 in there. Uh, and all the other hardware necessary to put the antenna together. the plate set for the nebula and the driven the ground and the first spreader for the antenna so there we go ha. this thing is no joke <laughs> wow uh, let's see. Obviously you can't see it, but this thing's freestanding has to be six foot. <laughs> it's certainly taller than me. There we go. So it's Thursday night, or at least Thursday in the afternoon. I could rush and put the sucker up for FT8 off, but I'm not going to because I'd rather build it right the first time around instead of screwing it up. So. 
to that end, uh, I printed out the manual. Yes, I know. Crazy thought, the manual. Uh, I've read over it. And instead of making a separate checklist, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and mark this up with bullet items for things that need to be done. And that way, as I complete them, I can mark them completed and then I can follow along and make sure that everything is, in fact, done before I go to, you know, my yard and actually put this thing up. So I'll show you what I have for a, a markup uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, gang, I went through the document and I only found uh, a couple of places where I needed to make marks. Uh, page one, item number one is inventory. I've done a rough inventory of the of what came in the box, but I want to make a full inventory of what's going on. Uh, second, I made a note on the cut sheet. Where's the cut sheet at? Here we go. There we go. Uh, that I need to cut my 40 meter element a little bit long to make it work with uh, 15 as well. And it's because it's covered on page six that you know you need to cut it long in order to make page six and make uh, 15 work. Which, you know, good reason to read this stuff before you actually start building. And then page seven, all on its own, is basically the the to do list. Uh, of building a DX Commander Nebula. I don't know about any others. This is what I got so far, but it has basically uh, all the steps. So I just put numbers to them and I put boxes next to them. As I complete them, I'll shade the box in. If I haven't completed it 100%, then I won't shade it. Uh, I'll just shade it partially. So if I you know, get half of it done, I'll shade in half. So that way I know exactly where to pick up the next day uh, on the build. Um, as far as I know, at least as far as I can find on YouTube, no one has done a video for the Nebula other than Callum himself, and that video is down right now because of the mess with his channel uh, last month. So uh, this will be a Nebula. You know, no, nobody else will have it. At least, hopefully, nobody else beats me to it. <laughs> uh, I aim to beat Jason to beating his uh, the X Commander. Let's see if he can build it before I can finish the series. So. Other than that, uh, that's all I got for now. Uh, we'll catch you guys down the log, 7-3. Uh,